Now this, Maine could get as much as $28 million in grant money from the Environmental Protection Agency to identify and replace lead pipes. The EPA introduced new rules last year to limit the use of lead pipes across the nation. So far, Maine has applied for $20 million based on the state's need. Currently, all municipalities and public water systems are checking their service lines to see if they contain lead. Lead can cause severe health and developmental problems if ingested. The Portland Water District has determined it does not have any public lead pipes. However, the Portland Water District uses galvanized pipe, which could contain lead. Still, the district is, excuse me, the district's planning director says it's a big relief that they don't have a larger problem. Even though it's nice to have federal money coming in and helping us, it's, it's a relief that we really don't have a problem. A lot of the bigger cities have 40, 50,000 lead services that they have to replace uh, uh, on their side and on the customer side. And that number is just, I mean, it's our whole system. The state of Maine banned lead pipes and plumbing fixtures back in 1926. The Maine CDC's drinking water program director says she's only heard of a couple of dozen lead service lines around the state, which is a relief since most of Maine's biggest cities have already completed most of their work. That state plumbing code has reduced the amount of lead service lines in our state compared to some others.